Hello guys and girls, welcome back. We've got another um, 9 uh, bag of pre-decimal coins. And it says over 70 from uh, pound shillings and pence coins. Five shillings to a farthing. Victoria to Elizabeth II. £9.95 from uh, the charity shop. Okay, so I'm hoping that I'm going to have uh, the same as the last bag, or similar. And I will struggle to get into here. But here we go. Oh, don't want to come out. Right, okay. Very similar by the look of it. We have, shall we pull out the crown? We have another Churchill crown. Okay. That's a weighty old thing, look. So we've got another Churchill crown to start with. There we are. Pull out that. And another Silver Jubilee crown. There we are. You've seen these in my crown collection, I believe. So if you haven't had a look at that video, um, please go and take a look because um, it's all about crowns and it's quite um, quite interesting. Well, I think it was quite interesting what I found out about them. All right, let's see what we've got here then. We have got half a crown, which was two and six back in the day. There we are. Two and six. Same again, half a crown or two and six. There we are. So um, if I just show you, that's the equivalent to half a crown and that's one, two shillings and six pence. So that's half a crown. There we go, there's another one. Oh dear, what's happened to this one? Something, it looks like it's been stuck on something. Hmm. Definitely, uh, definitely been beasted, hasn't it? Look at that. Never mind, it's still half a crown. There we go. Now then, we've got um, a florin by the look of it again. This, this bag is, is um, almost identical to the other bag. If I put the florin down there, and then the two shillings above it, it is very, um, very, very similar. Another one. Huh. Half a crown, that one is. This one's half a crown again. Must have been at the back of those. So I didn't feel it was different size. Nice. Look at the detail. That's nice. Show on the under the camera yeah nice so that's half a crown and that one I believe is a florin very worn but let's see if I can line you up and not very good at this am I just gives you a little bit more idea about the detail but it is worn there we are. so that's the two shillings or florin it's the same, it's the same uh, coin, same denomination. And another half a crown here. A few more half crowns, I think, than this one than the other one. Okay, I'm going to pick out the pennies because they're the biggest coin and uh, you can see the wood for the trees in. I'll just pile them up unless I see something really uh, cool or interesting for you. Yeah, let's have a look at that Victoria head and that Victoria head. Both the same. Yeah, both the same. I still see the okay. Just checking the camera. It's easy to get carried away and look at your own coins and forget you're actually showing someone else. <laughs> So there we are, we've got a little stash of pennies. There's that. And I'll put the Victorias next to it. There we are. Oh, that's it. Okay, 
We're going for the halfpennies again. Halfpennies again. Now, I can't remember who it was. Whether it was Corn Patrol or was it Corn Patrol? I don't know. Somebody put me right if I'm wrong. Had a great big box full of halfpennies. Whoa, it was like treasure. I wanted to get it in there. I wanted that box of from um, halfpennies. Right, another one there. And we've got one here that's pretty good condition. Nice. Okay, so there's the halfpennies. Put those in. And we'll do the farthings, which is the little... Yeah, there's a robin on that. Love that little robin. I love it when the robins are in the garden and they go up under the eaves of the shed or the garage or something and um, get the little insects. Okay, the shillings now. They changed into the five pence piece. And they were the same size as the shilling when they first came out and then they reduced the sizes later. Okay. Any more? Move that over there. Oh, that was sworn. Really smooth, that one. Right, so move the shillings out. I feel like I've had a real... Ooh! <laughs> Goal. <laughs> I feel like I've had a really good shot today. And by being able to um, pick these up. Oh, there's one stuck to me. There we are. And now we're going to go for the sixpences. We'll leave the others for the sweeper, whoever that is. What's that in there? Sixpence, yeah. It's, well, it's really worn, that one. These are the sixpences. And I'm doing this quite quickly because I'm conscious of the fact that once you've seen one you've seen them all but I'm also going to show you the um, other smaller silver coins this is Ripney Bits Port Callas on the thistles on I'm going to put those down and then we're going to go into these other these other silver coins okay Six months. Wow, well, this is so similar to the last bag. I've even got two tiny, uh, a thripney, a silver thripney bit that's um, got thrippence on the back. Exactly the same as the other two from the other bag. Well, I say that is identical. Hmm. What do you think? Fascinating. The um, the history behind all of these is connected obviously to all of our family history so it could be your parents or your grandparents or in my case myself uh, that use this money and um, in those days we would have been paid in cash we wouldn't have had a bank account money was given in a little brown envelope and you could um, I believe in, in my husband's case you had your wages in a brown envelope and the notes you could count them before opening the uh, pay packet so that you could check that the notes were correct before you opened your pay because you couldn't say anything once you'd opened the pay packet. So, um, again, as I say, that's that's all part and parcel for me is the history of this and where it comes from and who's touched it, what they've used it for and who scraped together a penny for the public convenience or desperate to go. Um, and you would have somebody in the toilet as well and, and they'd be on guard to make sure that you put your penny in that great big old brass thing a great big brass like penny slot machine <laughs> on the toilet door yeah it was absolutely massive and it was just well it'd have to be wouldn't it to put one of those pennies in but there we are okay that's the rest that's it for me for all our yesterdays for today uh, i've enjoyed going through the uh, pound shillings and pence and i hope you have too um and i'll see you again the next time for something else completely different.
take care until next time. Bye-bye.